welcome to episode 132 of the Graceful Tangle podcast. I'm Amy Kate. Thank you so much for joining me today. Believe it or not, this is going to be the last episode of 2022, which is absolutely crazy. It is currently December 15th. Um, this podcast will launch next Tuesday, so whatever date that is, the 20th, I believe. Um, but I have some time to film today, and we're going out of town early next week, so um, really taking advantage of the opportunity and the great lighting, because it has been so rainy and dreary here lately. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Exciting news on that front, I pulled up YouTube this morning um, just to make sure I was going to say the right number of the podcast, honestly, and realized that we hit 3,000 subscribers, which is so fun. Um, thank you so much for being here and supporting me through YouTube. Um, it means so much. So just thank you for watching and listening um, and being in this community. But lots and lots of things to talk about today um truth be told i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm remembering everything that i have finished or started and whatnot over the last couple of weeks but we're just going to go with it because i have plenty to share even if i'm forgetting something i have enough to talk about so we're just going to move right along um but yeah i'm working on so many fun things i've been making a few gifts here and there um uh, making i finished a sweater late last night um kind of to wear throughout the holiday season which is very exciting um and then I have lots I have a pile I'm not gonna share it because it's just a bunch of yarn and I feel like that would get boring and I would just be explaining every little thing I'm gonna make and I don't really think that's super interesting so um but I do have a pile of yarn over here to my right that has to be made into gifts over the next week and a half <laughs> that's gonna be fun um but anyways, very excited for this podcast and to be with you all. Um, again, thank you so much for joining me. And let's go ahead and hop into the content this week um, with some FMs. Alrighty, finished object number one is something that I handed on just a little bit as a minute ago. Um, but this is a brand new efficient cardigan that I, I just finished. I finished it last night. I stayed up super late um to finish this but I'm so happy that I did because it was so much fun to just be in the quiet and working away I listened to a couple of really good sermons and started the psych movie which if you have not watched psych it's the best show ever so I highly recommend it and the movies are absolutely hilarious so started that and we'll be finishing it later today for sure but anyways um I finished up this cardigan and I love it so the efficient cardigan is one of my own patterns it is a really simple double crochet um cardigan super simple I designed it with beginners in mind it is designed to be oversized and cozy um and it uses a bulky weight yarn so it is just super super quick I started this on what is today Thursday I started this on Tuesday finished it on Wednesday um but overall it took like maybe five hours to complete I would say um it's just so quick I I love these cardigans so much I'm actually planning to make another one um at the beginning of next year with a gray yarn um which I'm very excited about I have I have two of these already I have one that was the original sample of the pattern and for that one, I used um, We Crochet Big O yarn, and I love that yarn, but it, it pilling isn't the right word. It just shows wear after a little while, and so it just looks pretty worn because I have worn it a ton. And then another one I actually used this same yarn for, um, the same yarn and brand, but I used colors that don't, like, it's super fun and it's very cozy, but it just doesn't fit into my wardrobe very well. Um, and this one is green, which just truth be told it doesn't fit great either <laughs> but it's gonna be perfect as like a christmas cardigan and um, just kind of wear it like around the house over christmas holiday and stuff like that um and i have like a, a shirt that it's gonna look good with that i can wear with jeans so it can be dressed up or dressed down um it is going to be so cold here on christmas i live in alabama and so we have had christmases where it has been 70 degrees we have had christmases where it has snowed um it's just you literally never know what you're gonna get until it's like a week before um but we have cooler than normal air rolling in over the next couple of days and it is going to stick around for christmas so it's gonna be freezing but that's so exciting to me because it just doesn't feel like christmas if it's hot outside to me so very happy about that but my point is i'm actually going to be able to wear this christmas sweater on christmas 
and that is very exciting. <laughs> um anyway love 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 this pattern i'll link it down below if you haven't checked it out um the first one that i made i actually filmed a vlog because i made it all in one day so i will link that down below too if you want to check it out um but yeah love it it's so squishy and cozy i used toby amigo chunky i believe and i i do not remember the colorway name um it's just a number but it's like a really pretty dog green color so anyways love this cord again so happy it is done kind of miss it honestly i just love making those I could make so many more um okay and then next finished object um I actually finished a blanket over the course of the last couple of weeks um I am a nanny for a precious family um and I gifted both girls a blanket and then another little like toy to go along with it um and so the oldest she's six I made her blanket over the past couple of weeks um I don't have a picture of it or anything um which I know is bad but I just didn't I didn't finish it in time to take good pictures and all of that in decent lighting um but that is a that blanket is a design it's actually similar to the advent blanket that i'm working on right now that i'll talk about in a few minutes um and so i will be um, making another one of those at the beginning of the year and releasing that pattern probably in um february if i had to guess i am obsessed with making blankets lately so i think 2024 is 2023 Oh lordy, let's not skip over 2023. <laughs> I think 2023 is going to be like the year of blankets. Um, I want to design quite a few. So anyway, moving along. My point is I did finish that, but I don't have it to share. Um, but I do have a pair of socks that I finished. These are a gift for my best friend. I made her a pair of slipper socks. Um, so this is a free pattern um, on Ravelry and my blog, or you can find the PDF on Etsy. Um, but these are just super simple cuff down slipper socks. They do not have a heel um, and they use like worsted to bulky weight yarn. For this pair, I actually used three strands of Knit Picks Stroll held together. Um, I don't remember all the colorway names, but I used a khaki tweed, a dark green tweed, and then the um, like solid yellow mustard color. Um, and I just think it turned out so fun. I love the colors. Um, they're very just kind of like woodsy i feel like and cozy which is so fitting to her um and i think she's gonna love them so these are like the perfect last minute christmas gift if you are still kind of hunting for a couple of ideas um very easy to size because again they don't have a heel and that does not bother me at all the fact that they don't that they don't have a heel like i said these are slipper socks so they are designed to be wear, worn like all around the house um so you really can't tell that they're missing you know a heel or anything like that um and they're so bulky and quick to make um perfect if you want to throw on a christmas movie and just make a pair um so fun so finished up those i love them they turned out so good um and i'm so excited to gift them so excited i have a little something to go with them and i think it's gonna be just the perfect little gift so i i'm so so happy about that but that is it for finished objects this week. Um, I am working on a few fun works in progress though. So let's go ahead and chat about those. Okay, work in progress number one. I am loving this project so much. This is my advent blanket. So if you are familiar, I've had, I've had a few questions. Um, so tip well, I shouldn't say typically, lots of yarn dyers um, dye an advent calendar for makers to open um, from December 1st leading up to Christmas Day. So about 24 days. Sometimes you'll have like a full skein to open on the 25th, but it goes for about 24 days. You open a little mini every single day and then typically you'll have like a project that you're using those for. And so you'll work on that project a little bit every day. Um, they're so fun. I swapped advent calendars with my friend Eden from Crafting Quick and Made open up in Canada. Um, we will probably never meet in person, but I am so grateful for her friendship over social media. It is just so special, the communications that we're able to have um, with people that are so so far away it just it truly blows my mind um anyway so this is our second year swapping advent calendars last year i made a corner to corner granny square blanket using just the finger wet yarn that she sent over and so i would just add in a mini every day i actually got behind because i was super bogged down with um finals at the time i was still in college so that was part of it but then also work and 
just everything kind of piled up at once and I got a little bit behind um but I have tried so hard for zero to not let that happen to actually work on it a little bit every day um I am also doing something a little bit different that just makes it take a little less time each day which I think is helping too and I love the outcome so much more so this is what i'm making this year it is another blanket um i am doing a corner to corner half double crochet blanket so i am literally i started at this corner i um increased for half of it for the first 12 days and now today's the 15th um i haven't added in 15 yet this is the color for today i haven't added that in yet so i've only done two days um but it's now over halfway done so now i'm just decreasing back down and I am actually holding the strand of finger weight yarn. So whatever color I get that day, that's where all of the different colors come from. Um, I'm holding a strand of the fingering weight with a strand of Hobie Kind Feather. And this is a DK weight acrylic yarn. Um, and it is so fun. The result is seriously the squishiest, coziest thing ever. Um, it makes the project go by a little bit faster just because... Um, you know, you, you use more fingering weight yarn um, than you typically would if you were doing something with a smaller gauge. Um, so the point is not to get done faster, but for me, if I have to spend a little bit less time than like an hour, you know, working on it every day, I'm so much more likely to not get behind. Um, so anyways, it has been such a special project. I love all of the colors so much. I love how they kind of all tie together because of that one gray yarn that I'm using. Um, I just think it looks a little, I, wow, that was messed up. <laughs> I just think it looks a little bit more cohesive, um, which I really love. And like I said, it is so squishy. It is also big. So this is the halfway point. Um, I am five one, so pretty short, I know. Um, but this is it compared to my wingspan. Like it is definitely five feet wide, I think. Um, I'm going to have to measure better when it's actually done, but that is so exciting to me. I love that it's that big, um, and it's just going to be so fun and special to cozy up under for years and years to come. I love it so much. I love this project. Um, and Haftable Crochet is like my favorite crochet stitch, so I'm having so much fun doing it for so many things lately, um, which actually leads me into my next work in progress which is another blanket, um, also using only the half double crochet stitch. <laughs> okay, so this blanket I have had lots of questions about. I'm actually going to create a separate video for it that I will talk about in just a couple minutes. Um, but this is a faux fur blanket. So here's what it looks like so far. Um, I am using two colors of Hobie... I don't remember what this one is called. Hobie Peacock. Um, this is a 100% polyester, super bulky yarn, I believe. Well, it's just listed as a bulky vibe. It's a pretty bulky um, yarn, though. And with each skein, you get 100 grams or 71 yards. Um, so, I am having so much fun with this project. I am using, like I said, only the half double crochet stitch. Um, I am loosely following a pattern, but not really because I'm completely changing it. I'm making it much bigger than what she recommends. Um, but basically, I just chained the length that I wanted, um, which is about this wide, which is not quite 50 inches wide. Um, it's a little bit less than that. And then I'm going to go until I run out of yarn, which should be about 60 inches tall. Um, so I'm doing it color blocked. I did this gray first and then I went into this blue and then I have, um, I'm going to do another section of gray and then another section of blue and then I'm going to add a border of something. I haven't quite decided what yet, um, but I'll, I'm going to figure out something to make it look a little bit more cohesive. I'm also a little bit scared that it looks kind of like a baby blanket. <laughs> Just with the colors, I don't know. I just feel like baby blue and this khaki are kind of common for babies. So I'm trying to figure out like what yarn I could use to make it look less like a baby blanket for the border. If you have any ideas, please let me know. Um, okay, anyway, I have gotten so many questions about working with this yarn and if you can see stitches and um, all of that. So really quickly, what I am doing, um, I am using a 12 millimeter hook. Um, I think that's right. I don't actually have it in this bag. Um, I have it over on my desk amongst my other clover hooks that I have been using constantly lately. So I think I'm using the 12 millimeter. Um, and then I'm using the half double crochet stitch and I am actually working in between the stitches. So what I do is as I'm working each row, I just kind of feel with my finger where the stitch is and work in between that. Um, it's so easy guys. Like you don't have to see your stitches with this yarn. Um, 
it can be frustrating but at the same time it hides all your mistakes because you cannot see the individual stitches so i would just recommend not stressing about it and just going with it um you could like count your stitches every row as you're working um to kind of make sure that it's not going to be like super wonky or anything um for me that would not be practical because it would add time i'm also typically doing something else like watching a show or having a conversation while i crochet and knit so that would not be appropriate obviously to have to do that every row um but yeah i am planning on filming a short just like compact little video on some of my biggest tips with working with fofo yarn my plan to just kind of walk you through how i um crochet with it um the hooks that i use stuff like that because i just feel like it would be really helpful um so stay tuned for that video because i'm gonna be filming it and watching it very soon um, because like I said, I have gotten so many questions about it, but I am loving this project. It is going by so quick. It takes me like 15 minutes to do one ball and there's four balls in each color block. So we're really only looking like at like a five hour blanket, which is crazy. Um, maybe a little bit longer than that, but it's very, very quick, very short for in the long run. Um, but yeah, there we go. I love it. It's been so fun to work on. I cannot wait to finish it. I have been wanting a blanket with yarn like that for so long and i am so excited to finally have it it's going to be amazing um i am drinking if you're curious chai latte my new obsession my mom made this the other day and then she made it again um today and it is seriously amazing like oh my goodness So good i hope you are sipping on a fun beverage as well okay and then one more work in project work in pro i always say that one more work in progress um and like i said another blanket because i have an actual problem but this one is a commission and it's not for me this one is also going to take forever and a day <laughs> but it will get done eventually um so i'm making this for one of my um grandmother's friends and like I said, it is a commission. Um, and it is just a seed stitch large throw. Um, so yeah, if you're familiar with seed, seed stitch and you're familiar with knitting, you can see how this is probably going to take me the rest of my life. <laughs> Not really, but it is going to take a very long time. Just switching between knit and purl every single stitch takes a while, but that's okay. Um, I am using this yarn. Um, Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. I love this yarn so much. Um, and the colorway, something blue. Pet, mm, okay. P-E-T-R-O-L Blue. I'm not sure if you would say that. Petrol or Patrol. I'm not sure what it's supposed to reference. So that's helpful. But it's a really dark blue color. Very nice. Very pretty. Um, and this is how much I have so far. So I am almost done with my first ball of this yarn. And I have like... 12 no 16 16 total balls of yarn to work with um which is quite a lot actually i take that back i might only have three six nine twelve yeah i have 12 balls total so i'm almost a 12th of the way done which is exciting um and i'm also using size 11 needles because she did not want any holes or gaps or anything in the stitches so typically i would use like a 13 to get a looser gauge um but instead I'm using 11, so that's kind of slowing me down a little bit too, but it's going great. I'm not using a pattern for this. I just did a swatch and then, you know, calculate. I think I was getting two stitches per inch. Um, yeah, that's right. So it's two, two stitches per inch. She wanted it to be 50 inches wide. And um, so I just, you know, 50 times two is a hundred. So cast on a hundred stitches. Um, and then I'm doing C stitch, which is just knit one, pull one every row for eternity. <laughs> Just a little recap on that project it's gonna take a while truth be told i was made known that she wanted this a couple of weeks ago and in my um impossible mind i thought i could get it done by the time we went to see them um to see my grandmother next week that would not be happening <laughs> i wanted to try to avoid any extra shipping cost which makes total sense in my mind um but there is absolutely no way i can have that blanket done by monday Oh, not Monday, Sunday, and today is Thursday. 
no way but that's okay i'm not on a specific deadline for that um like i said that is a commission and speaking of commissions i will be filming a video on that as well and releasing it in just a couple weeks um i've done a few commissions more than usual this season um and i've also had a lot of questions on what i charge and how i know what to charge and what to charge and um all of that stuff just thoughts on it and i have lots of thoughts on commission projects as a whole um so that video will be coming out soon it'll just be and i will preface that video with this but that will just be sharing my personal opinions how i do it i am not saying my way is the best i'm not saying somebody else's way is wrong um by any means because we all have different um different opinions on the on the um process but I will be filming that video and hopefully it will be a helpful resource for you guys to a reference to. Okay, that is it for all of the works in progress um, this week. I'm actually not going to talk about any designs uh, because I'm only working on one blanket. It will launch January 1st of next year. It's the Genesis blanket. Um, but I have not made any progress on it this week. That'll be, I'll be working on that kind of throughout the holiday um, season that week. Um, the pattern is like ready to go. I just have to finish the sample. So I'm not really stressed about it. Um, but I haven't made much progress. And so there is not really a reason to share that again. But I'm going to skip over design talk and hop into a little devotional and life update. Alrighty, so for devotion today, I wanted to share a prayer from this devotional book that I am doing over the season of Advent. Um, which is the 24, 25 days leading up to christmas day i guess it's 24 but he has this author has 25 days in here but um this is called in the manger by max Lucado or max Lucado. i'm not actually sure how to pronounce his last name um i read another book by him um recently and i if i could see it from here i would be able it's called because of bethlehem um i read that book oh i finished it like last week i think or maybe earlier this week and it was so good as well i kind of talked about a little bit in the last episode my parents gave me this whole stack of um like kind of advent or christmas themed books um because i was looking for something specific and that was the resolution in this household <laughs> we love books and have a ton of them so i just kind of compiled them all and i've been slowly um not too slowly actually but i've been reading through them um over the course of this month and it has been so nice so good to just be filling my mind with with good things with things about the birth of our savior um over the month that we celebrated but this specific prayer was from day seven of this advent i have been enjoying this so much it's just a few pages that you read every day um and it's so good i i really like devotional books because they just really you know it's a small amount to read every single day it really starts your day off right um and it also like there's always a point and they always get to it fast because they have a short amount of time to to do it in um and I love them. So I'm kind of itching to like continue having these little, light little devotionals like this to read kind of throughout the new year. So if you have any suggestions on like devotional books or stuff like that, I would love to hear them. So please like leave a comment below or send me an email. Um, my email address is listed down in the description box. Um, I would love to start those conversations. But this is from day seven. Um, the prayer says, Oh Lord, live in me. May your love be in, in and through my heart. May you speak through my voice. Jesus, be the strength of my soul and the fire that poaches wrongs from my desires. Fill me with your great abounding grace. In Jesus' name, amen. So all of the prayers in this book are short and sweet like that, but all of them are powerful. Um, and I just love that one. I've been thinking a lot about, lately about how often our desires or plans for our lives are not what his are. Um, and not necessarily that those plans are bad. They're just not what's best for us. And God always wants what's best for us. Um, I was listening to a couple of sermons um, last night as I was working on that cardigan that I shared earlier. Um, and it was talking about uh, the, the pastor. Um, I believe his name is Michael Todd, I think. And he was speaking at a church called Life Church. And it was like this two-part series. One was called, it was based kind of on the subject of relationships, but it can definitely apply to other seasons and areas of life as well. Uh, but when someone was entitled Rip Up Your List and one was called Rewrite Your List. And they were so good. He is a unique pastor and so like just very upbeat and excited, which kind of made me more passionate about what he was talking about. Um, I will link them down below if you want to watch the sermons. They were very, very good. But um, 
one of the things that he was talking about was just how we typically have this set list of things that we think we should be doing or things that we hope to be doing by a certain age or a certain time. And so often those just don't align with what God's will is for our lives. And that's not a bad thing. It's not meant to be a scary thing. It's meant to remind us to surrender to God's will, knowing and trusting and believing that he always wants what's best for us. And when we love him, um, we can trust that all things will work for our good. And I have just found such peace in that over the last couple of weeks. Um, and you know, specifically over the last, you know, few hours since listening to those sermons. But that's been something that's been on my mind for a while. So it was really good to just kind of hear it again almost. Um, but yeah, it was really good. So I'll link those three sermons down below if you want to watch it. Um, I highly recommend this devotional. It would be so beneficial to do any time of year, not just during Advent season. So um maybe it could be a christmas gift and you can start it the day after christmas which would also be great um but yeah in terms of a life update it is a crazy busy season but also so good um obviously christmas is right around the corner it's my favorite time of year it makes me so sad to think that it is already december 15th where has the month gone um but it's also been good last week was harder um just like mentally but it happens it happens um and that is that is okay it's important to know where your strength and where your joy comes from and where it is rooted in so that it truly can't be shaken even on the days when you think it's gonna be um but anyway, i feel like there was something oh one big thing um that i have been in the process of doing lately um kind of aligns with what god's plan and desires are um as well i graduated from college august of this year from community college so just a two-year degree um and i have put so much thought into going back to school um and so that is something that i am working towards for fall of 2023 it's crazy it's surreal it's a huge decision um i have put so much thought and prayer and consideration into this decision because we all know well most of us know if you've been to college you know that one it is expensive it is expensive um and two it is just a lot it is a lot of stress it is a lot to handle um those two years at college were really good. I grew so much as a person, but they were some of the hardest years as well. And so it's scary to like be choosing to jump back into that. Um, but at the same time, I'm passionate about what I'm going to be studying. And so I am excited and hopeful for what lies ahead. So I put a lot of just time into that, into applying for scholarships and writing essays and all of that stuff that I didn't really think I'd be doing again. <laughs> Here I am doing um but it's been good and god has already so richly blessed that season before it has even been begun um which is just so beautiful to experience so that has been on my mind in the midst of christmas and the holiday season and making gifts and spending time with those i love and treasure most um it's been a really special season lots of newness lots of just feelings of overwhelm but also really really good so i hope that you are all having a wonderful holiday season i hope that you have a merry christmas if you celebrate or just a really special time at the end of the year with your loved ones i pray that you are reminded to place all of your joy and hope and trust in our father because he loves you so much he sees you um and he cares about every little thing that you care about much more than you'll ever know um he's always working even when we can't feel it he is working so big um but i pray that you have a wonderful rest of the year thank you so much for being here and for your support over this year um i was thinking earlier 2023 is gonna be my fourth year um designing which is wild i am so grateful for this community and this little business and for your support no matter what that support means whether it is just a like or a follow or um watching a video or purchasing a pattern pattern everything is seen and everything is appreciated and i am so so thankful for you so thankful thank so thank you for being here be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you all again next time <laughs> until then happy making bye Oh, 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 oh,